Well, hey, Diet Disruptors. Carrie here with Coach Jess again. Hi, Jess. Hi. You are, it's so funny, every week you're someplace else. And that's just I am. <laughs> of hybrid learning in a school, isn't it? Because you yes. are a leader. <laughs> and every week it's like you are either home from your home office or from your school office, but yeah. now you're in your home office, right? Yes. Yeah. Making it work, being, being uh, flexible. <laughs> that's, that's the, that's the theme of 2020. It, it? it really is. Oh my gosh. So we have been talking all month long about the holidays. Is it getting you in the mm -hmm. holiday spirit? Oh yes, absolutely. Although I still only have my Thanksgiving decorations up. My husband's pushing, pushing to put the winter decorations up, but not yet. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. It was so nice last week in New England and you're on the mm -hmm. East Coast too. And I couldn't, as much as I said to the kids, I'm cool. We could put up the tree early. I yeah. couldn't get into it because the weather was just way too nice. But it's gotten colder now and, uh, but it's not Thanksgiving. So I do struggle not putting up my holiday decorations like until after Thanksgiving, mm -hmm. you know? But mm -hmm. this year it's just like, we're really not doing much for Thanksgiving. So I don't know. I told the kids we would think about it. We have been watching Hallmark Christmas movies, though. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Which is That's so awesome. Funny. So at the end of October, they premiered a holiday movie on Hallmark. And I have to be honest, I had never watched a Hallmark movie before. I, I don't know that I have. They're not very good. They're, right? They're like lifetime quality. Life, was it lifetime? Is that the channel that I'm thinking of? That's the same quality, right? Every single story <laughs> like, I've seen a couple now since this first one mm -hmm. I saw at the end of October, and they're, everything's the same exact story. Yes. Like, you could figure it out before it even starts. Yeah, that's lifetime. <laughs> October called A Royal Holiday, I think it is, took okay. place in my hometown. Oh, and nice. High school was there. Oh, my goodness. My uh, my baby shower was there. Huh. My parents live right on the green where it was. So yeah. all of July, they kept taking pictures of the set of snow in the middle of July. They made snow. Oh and my goodness. So crazy. And so that kind of got us a little bit in the holiday spirit, but my parents have been very excited about that since July. <laughs> <laughs> so was but the movie good or? <laughs> no, it wasn't good at all. It was not good. <laughs> We recognized all the things in the movie, which made it so much fun. We all watched it and texted each other as we were watching it. It was, it was fun. Anyway, awesome. check it out and you can see my, <laughs> my hometown. Um, anyway, let's talk more about holidays. So in the first week, we talked about not saving up our calories, mm -hmm. right? Because we know, and we know based on what we teach, that blood sugar stabilization is the key to our bodies getting revved up, our bodies moving to optimal health, our bodies getting what it wants. So it does for us what we always wanted those diets to do. And as soon as we save our calories to eat a big meal later in the day, we are actually sabotaging our goals. So if you haven't listened to that, go back and listen to that one. And then last week we talked about alcohol and we talked about wine and, and just kind of indulging in that. And not that there's anything wrong with it, but we can easily sabotage ourselves if we don't understand. Mm -hmm. So we got to give some tips about this, that, and then this week, Jess, what are we gonna talk about? And I know you've been very excited. You've been planning yes. this like all week. We're talking about bringing food, right? Bringing food to the celebration so that we're prepared and we're helping everybody else there at the same time. Yes. Right. And you know, I'm at the point now with most of my family, which is who I'll, I'll be with, they all eat PFC mm -hmm. every three. They eat the disruptive nutrition approach. So it's actually really simple. Everybody's always bringing those things. So eventually if the movement moves into your family, this becomes super easy. But I know for many yes. of us, that's not the case, right? Mm -hmm. Right. But there's so many good things that we could be doing. And actually, I think it's like, it's, it's a couple of pieces. One, it's helping ourselves, right? Mm -hmm. And bringing ourselves, but it's helping others, educating others, mm -hmm. and kind of setting a stage of like expectation for all of us. Right. And because what I bring to parties is so good yet healthy, people are like, oh, mm -hmm. oh. Yeah, that's how you get them on board. Mm -hmm. Right, 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 right. So I just think that there's so many different options of what we could be bringing. And I always talk about no-brainer swaps. What we're going to talk about today are going to be simple, easy swaps that aren't going to be complicated, but let's, we're, we'll, let's talk about the ideas and then why they're so much better. I think that mm -hmm. would be really key. 
So I think that there's quick and easy non recipe recipe kind of things that we can be bringing. And then there's like recipe things that we can bring. And if you stay to the end, we're going to tell you how you can get all the recipes that we're talking about. They're all completely balanced PFC so that you can keep on your goals and we're going to give them to you for free. So wait, stay to the end and we are going to give you all the recipes, show you exactly how to get them. So that will be fun. Yeah. All right, Jess. So let's talk first about non-recipe kind of ideas. Okay. okay. Mm-hmm. Well, you're just bringing something to a party. What do you bring? Like what's okay. your stuff? Right. Well, I mean, for my family, the biggest appetizer item has always been the shrimp cocktail, right? Everybody loves shrimp cocktail. You can get a nice big ring at the holidays. It's nice and easy to just defrost it and you bring it, right? But the problem with just the shrimp cocktail is that you're missing, you're missing macros, right? If you're just eating shrimp, you're missing your, you got your, you got your protein, right? But you're missing your fat and you're missing your carb. Mm -hmm. So you want to bring something along with the, with the shrimp cocktail. So my thought process would be to bring some of the simple meals, um, those almond flour crackers. I love those. Right. They're so delicious. You can have a bowl, a bowl of those for everybody to, to have on the side. And then you have your shrimp ring and now you have a balanced meal. And it was so simple to just add that one extra item to it. Yeah. And that's a PFC in and of itself. Right. right? In, mm-hmm. in so many ways. And then you could spend a little time eating a little bit. And mm-hmm. like we talk about is grazing, right? Like kind of grazing through the day and not saving your calories. I'm talking right now and my daughter is vacuuming. <laughs> <laughs> because they're always home, Jess. At least they're vacuuming. That's fabulous that they're vacuuming. Stories <laughs> on their list, and I—I I mean, who knows when it gets done? But it's oh gosh. apparently right now. Even though I said we're going live, they're still yeah. Vacuuming. My daughter's doing the opposite. She's eating food on my couch right now. Crumbs are probably everywhere. So yes. well, anyway, okay. Um, so I, I, I think about the concept of bringing that balance and grazing kind of all day long mm-hmm. allows it. Now I, I often host these kinds of things. So I always want to make sure I'm always like, eh, don't bring anything. I've got it. <laughs> and mm-hmm. that's like a perfect thing to just lay out shrimp cocktail and some of those, uh, simple mills crackers. I'll actually add to that some salsa on the side. Mm, yes. Salsa is free. It's free food. You're right. It's free food. And so now I can be mm-hmm. dipping my um, crackers right into salsa. Mm-hmm. Um, so I love that. The other thing that I didn't think about, sometimes I just bring the shrimp cocktail and I think they'll always be fats and carbs, mm-hmm. like plenty, but they won't really be that healthy. Mm-hmm. So another thing That's that I'll point. do is just bring a very big veggie platter with guacamole in the middle you know, or maybe hummus or something like that, Mm -hmm. because my hummus is going to be my fat and a little bit of carb, a guacamole is fat. And then lots and lots of veggies are nutrient dense Mm -hmm. carbs that are really, really light. Not a lot, but if you're going to have a glass of wine, like we talked about last week, to me, that's perfect, right? Right. You're not a drinker. So you're going to go with the almond um, flour crackers as your denser carb. I'm going to have my glass of wine with my veggies and we're both going to be in the shrimp cocktail. Yes. <laughs> Perfect. I think that's lovely. Um, another thing that I do a lot um, is, and in fact, tomorrow when I send out an email to everybody with some of this stuff, I'll put a picture of it, is I I love hard boiled eggs. People in the membership group know, like that is my second meal every day. <laughs> But one thing that I'll do is I'll hard boil eggs and I kind of make them like a deviled egg. I take some of the yolks, um, put that in a blender and then um, add some avocado and lemon juice and some salt and pepper. And I puree Mm -hmm. that in my, in my um, little mixer thing and then put that inside the eggs. So it's just this creamier because a lot of um, deviled eggs are filled with kind of a lot of garbage. Um, Mm -hmm. But this just makes it really healthy and people love the avocado mixed with the egg yolks and that's i haven't tried that that sounds delicious yeah that's a fat and a uh protein so Mm -hmm. just some carbs on the side of that one and that's yeah that's amazing so So you can have your wine with that (laughs) i can have my wine with that exactly your veggies (laughs) In, in my veggies exactly so there's some really easy kind of things that we can be doing um to be setting ourselves up for success. And what I love to do is kind of say, let me tell you why I brought this. 
and then share a little bit about how we fuel ourselves with food. And people right. are always so amazed. Well, I guess not so much anymore, but when I started this lifestyle, kind of like you eat all this and still got that going on, like still mm-hmm. look like that, like still have that level of health. And I'm like, yeah, because A, eating all day long is what I know we have to do. But B, mm-hmm. because I eat like this all the time, my metabolism is so boosted that on a day like a holiday, I honestly don't have to think about it that much, mm-hmm. right? Like your body right now, Jess, because you've been doing this for more than a year. Yeah. It's like, it, it's your metabolism is boosting. So your body mm-hmm. churns food, <laughs> digests and uses it and then burns off what it doesn't need to. Right. Because you strength train, because you eat PFC every three and because you're consistent over time. Doing mm-hmm. this for a month Absolutely. is not the thing, right? It's doing it yeah. over time. So I think that's powerful, powerful. Okay, any other go-tos yes. that you bring? Uh, probably those, the siete, the, the chips. The, I love the ones with the lime. Yes. They're so good. The, yeah. And, and that they're nice be, and clean. Like, yeah. A fat and a carb. It would be. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Salsa with that. With the salsa. Yep. Yep. Sometimes so we have breaded chicken and throw that. Yes. In that is really good. That's another option. Yeah. They could bring yeah. two separate things, regular salsa and salsa with the chicken in it. So people yep. can pick and choose. Yep. Exactly. So lots of options. So easy. And like, it's typical mm-hmm. food. It's not like you're bringing, you know, granola, mm-hmm. you know, you're bringing like, you know, those things that people think are just like all healthy and all, but you're bringing like really stuff that people would bring anyway. But again, like instead right. of just bringing those, you know, s- you know, regular cheap nacho chips, right. You're bringing the siete, like mm-hmm. super easy swap. The siete have no, no GMO and they're just mm-hmm. like so much healthier for us. How do you, what do you look for in ingredients when you're kind of looking at like chips or kind of the grab and go stuff? Mm -hmm. I definitely, I'm looking for organic um, ingredients. I don't want like, uh, um, I'm looking at the oils, right? I don't want, um, what's the oil I'm thinking of? Canola. Uh, Yes. Thank you. I'm like, it starts with a C. I don't want canola oil in in there. You know, I want like, I want olive oil. I want it to be few ingredients, about five ingredients in the list, right? If I have all these like modified starches and all kinds of crazy stuff in there that I can't pronounce, I'm putting it right back on the shelf. (laughs) Exactly. And the more fiber you can find in food, the Mm, better. Yes. My avocados are so great because they're so high in fiber. And the more fiber that we bring in, the the, Mm -hmm. the more our body loves it and the more we're gonna be able to metabolize food. So fiber Mm -hmm. is huge. You can look for fiber in your foods that you're bringing. That's amazing, right? So let's like, like get away from like the cheesy dips and move into some of those like hummus and guacamole right. and salsas. I mean, it's amazing yeah. how flavorful that can be, especially with some like, right. I'll, I'll like take uh, store-bought like organic salsa and add fresh onion, lime juice and fresh cilantro and just, you know, enhance a jar. Yeah. Salsa. Everyone That's thinks awesome. It's- yeah, so good. All right, so let's talk about some recipes now. Whether you're cooking yeah. or you said you're going to bring a dish, we want to mm-hmm. be thinking about what that is, right? And right. so that's one of the reasons I love our recipe subscription so much because every month there are just so many different dinner ideas, a variety of side dishes and bonus dishes and things like that. And so we, you and I kind of went through and picked some of our favorite that we thought would be great for holiday parties from the 2020 collection. Right. Yes. So I will say like our recipe subscription is open right now, but we are closing it and we will only open it twice a year from now on. So if the recipe subscription is something you're interested in, I suggest grabbing it, but let's take a look at some ideas. So let's, let's think about some of those things that we um, love to make at our parties that were part of our 2020 recipe collection. Name one that you Mm -hmm. like, Jess. Well, you actually, you, you mentioned hummus before in your veggie platter. You're going to have hummus in the middle, right? But we're not yes. talking store-bought hummus. We're talking our, how do you say it? Apples. Apples, hummus. apples, hummus. apples yes. Hummus. <laughs> so I always apple, say that wrong. It doesn't have apples in it. It's apple, A-P-O-L, meaning Apollonia. 
And Apollonia oh. was our live-in helper when we lived in Asia. We lived in Asia for six and a half years in Singapore. And she is the one that really taught me so much about cooking and so much about food. Um, we lived there when the girls were younger until they were in about first grade. And so Apple saved my tail. <laughs> she was amazing. She was such a good cook and she makes the best hummus. And it's so simple and it's better than anything you will buy in any store. So mm -hmm. I, I, I love that I get to share the story of Apple. She's our most favorite person in the world and that you all get to, to try a little piece of her cooking. So that yeah. is good hummus, isn't it? Mm -hmm. so yeah. Creamy. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, makes an extra treat. Yep. And in all of these recipes that we're going to share with you, we're going to give you the PFC balance information. So mm -hmm. that's going to be awesome. All right. I'm going to name one now. Uh -huh. um, this one I came up with for my husband because he loves apple crisp. That's his dessert go-to. And so we're jumping right to dessert right now because this is my favorite <laughs> one. So I was able to come up with, and then my sister in Holly, who's a diet instructor, she has allergies and, and really can't have gluten or soy or dairy or any of the things like that. Mm -hmm. So I came up with a clean apple crisp. And so it's good. It's so easy. All of our recipes are simple because I am not like, you know, fancy in, in that way. And we made it for my husband last year in the holidays. And I was like, oh, this has to go on the recipe sub subscription. And so we're going to give a uh, clean apple crisp. I think that's an amazing option for, mm -hmm. for dessert. Now, you know, like in desserts, again, you know, it's, it's about a lifestyle that's sustainable. And I like to do healthy swaps, but if I'm doing like my appreciation meal or I'm just like not worrying about it that much because it's the holiday, I'm not worried about the PFC part of my dessert so much mm -hmm. um, as much as because protein's harder in dessert, let's be honest. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I, I want to make sure that what I'm putting in my body is serving it. And if there's an easy swap, I might as well do that. So clean apple crisp, yeah. no brainer, right? Yeah. I, I feel like there's, there's not a person on this earth that doesn't like an apple crisp. I know. <laughs> all right what else you got all right so since we're since we're talking dessert i'm going to share my favorite my okay. favorite is the the chocolate zucchini bread i love oh. the chocolate zucchini bread that it is so moist right oh my god so good yeah i love 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 that one and here's what i do with the chocolate zucchini bread i also um, offer it for breakfast the next morning oh yeah totally i can see that yeah mm -hmm. have some eggs on the side and the mm -hmm. chocolate zucchini bread Kids love it because they think they're getting chocolate in the morning. And then we have some scrambled eggs on the side, some egg whites or whatever it is you want to have on the side. So I love right. that. Okay. I'm going to name another dessert that I played around with for months until I got it right, but it's just strawberry mousse. Now mm. that one isn't as like clean and quite as like PFC balanced, but I wanted to include it because it's decadent and it's still got actual clean ingredients in it. Mm -hmm. It's just going to be higher in fat and all of that kind of stuff, but it's so good. And it's better than just grabbing store-bought ice cream, you mm -hmm. know, and it's, it's fancy too and not hard. So right. I, love, I love that. All right. Let's talk okay. proteins now. So we went from appetizers, we went to dessert. Now let's talk about like dinner time and what mm -hmm. we're, what we're putting on our plates and what we're bringing or serving. What, what's one that you like? Hmm. Uh, you know, it would be really good and it would be good, not just on the day, but even afterward with some of the leftovers is the black bean, pumpkin, sweet potato, turkey, chili. That's a big word. Yes, it is. But I got it. <laughs> I didn't black trip over bean, it. Pumpkin, sweet potato, chili. Tur yes. Turkey, oh, chili. Turkey, chili. <laughs> that is a PFC meal in and of itself. You can even serve that as a little of an appetizer. I remember yeah. Thanksgiving a few years ago, we had 40 people here and I had like a soup, um, like a appetizer soup bar for a while. People were here for literally three days. So mm -hmm. we did one day of just kind of a bunch of soups. And that was the first time I had made that. Mm. Oh my gosh. So good. And it's that pumpkin that gives it some creaminess. Yeah. But it doesn't mean pumpkin. No. So I love it. It's a nice and, balance. And here's a great swap with chili, turkey chili or ground beef. Now we're not opposed to ground beef, but it does add to the fat content. And so we do do it but not all the time, but turkey chili is just such a great balance with fat and protein that you don't even tell the difference with all the flavors from the chili. It's so good. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Um, I'm going to go with, oh, the, there is back in January, I think it was um, a lentil salad that I had made 
It was a warm lentil salad with sausage mm-hmm. and apples. Mm-hmm. And the reason I'm, I'm thinking about that one, especially for this, is that that makes an amazing dish to bring where people could have it as part of dinner. Like it's like a, you know, instead of like um, a side of pasta or a side of macaroni and cheese um, or a side of scalloped potatoes, that's kind of just so high in glycemic index and fat and none of it's really healthy. This is such a great hearty salad. That's not really a salad. It's, it's like one of those side dishes, but it's got protein in it you know, because of the sausage, but I have made it before without the sausage and just made it as a side dish. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. Yeah. So that was great. It's filled and filled with flavor. So I love that. And then you can also substitute the sausage for Mm -hmm. another kind of protein. Right. You could put your turkey right in there. That's what I was thinking. You could put your turkey right in the salad. If you're having turkey, you can put it right in the salad. Oh, like, yes. For like, right. Just mix it up. Yeah. I love that idea. That is a great idea. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do that. There you go. <laughs> Great. And I think you have one more idea, don't you? We talked yes. About what did I, what did I have? Oh, I think, well, I think, I guess this would be like an all day kind of affair, but you could bring the, um, the lemon garlic chicken skewers, right? And you talked before about it's hard at, des- at, at dessert to include a protein, but if you have those available, you can grab a couple of those, eat those right before your dessert. And now you have your protein and you have it before yes. you're getting all those carbs and fat. So think about that. Let's lay, let's lay that timeline out. First of all, you're right. I forgot about the skewers. They're amazing. The flavor is so good. I like them the next day on salad too. So oh, yeah. It's super diverse, right? Okay. So let's play this out. So we have our appetizer, you know what I mean? And you're kind of grazing a little bit on that. Mm-hmm. And then you wait a little while and then you're going to have dinner. And I don't have like this huge plate because I feel gross. So I do a, another little bit of protein, fat and carb. Mm-hmm. And then you wait, right? And maybe you're having another a drink or some tea or coffee or whatever. And then dessert comes out a little bit later. And then maybe you're grabbing a little bit of those chicken skewers, mm-hmm. you know, and then sit down and you're going to have your apple crisp or your strawberry mousse or whatever it is. And it's not going to be perfectly balanced, but it is going to be your proteins, fats, and carbs all day long. Oh, yep. that's good. Really good. Love <laughs> it. With our blood sugar stabilized, we're eating until we're satisfied. Mm-hmm. We don't miss a beat on the holidays. And I think that that's awesome. Yeah. All right. Well, this is cool. So uh, what I had said is if you stay to the end, we're going to learn how to get all of these great recipes. So there will be a link that you can click on and put in your information and I will email it to you. So we'll do that if you want those recipes. And then we want to hear from you. So post in our Diet Disruptor Squad, uh, share with us uh, how those recipes are going over or how you're integrating them into your holidays. And the other great thing is Black Friday is coming. I love Black Friday. Well, I used to really <laughs> love it. So when I, I lived overseas for so many years, we didn't have Black Friday. So I remember my first Black Friday was like a Walmart extravaganza. <laughs> probably six or seven years ago. I had never done Black Friday before, but now really? it's all normal, and especially mm-hmm. with COVID, it totally is. But last year was our first year of Disruptive Nutrition doing a Black Friday event, mm-hmm. and it was so much fun. And so we're going to do another one, and we're going to drip some specials that we would never, ever do any other time except for a few days in November. And so our Black Friday will last a couple of days, but it will expire this I think it's a Saturday or the Sunday after uh, Thanksgiving. So we'll drip out some of our great offers um, just before Thanksgiving. And then people will have a few days to kind of make a decision. However, if you want to know what our Black Friday deals are before anybody else does, and there'll be some extra bonuses just for those people, then put in, go into uh, disruptyournutrition.com slash Black Friday. And you can sign up for that. We'll put a link in there too. And then you can get those um, awesome reminders before anybody else does. <laughs> That'll be fun. Awesome. So that is it, I think, for today. Jess, you didn't have any kids that came in and interrupted. No, it's the magic of Frozen 2. And I only have my daughter home right now. <laughs> there you go. The magic of Frozen 2. My mm-hmm. teenagers think Frozen 2 was way better than Frozen 1. But Do I, they? Am, I am a Frozen 1 girl. <laughs> I think my I think my daughter loves them both equally. I'm not even sure she knows which one she's watching. She's just so happy it's Anna and Elsa on the TV. <laughs> oh, that is so funny. But she's so young, so they yeah. can, maybe got them both at the same time. Yeah, yeah. pretty much, yes. <laughs> 
That's so funny. Well, okay. So I am just thrilled that we were able to talk about this. I hope everybody's going into the holidays with some sort of a plan. Give us some, some feedback, give us some comments on what you took from this, what you're excited to cook and what you're excited to try. Jess, thank you so much. And next thank week, you. we've got another awesome episode about holidays. I'm excited Yay. about it. All right. <laughs> Bye. Bye.